I'm Justine Sauvage, I'm 24 years old and I'm from Brussels, Belgium. I'm studying at the University of Rhode Island at the Graduate School of Oceanography. I really had an awesome program I was interested in, so really oceanography, we don't find it that easily in Europe and it was really um, the perfect project with the perfect advisor and I knew I would have much more opportunities offered in it while being in the United States and doing my master and PhD degree, so I jumped on the opportunity. So um, I looked up um, different programs I was interested in and really applied to all of them I really didn't like. Yeah, I did a selection, but I, they told me I had to apply at least at 10 as being as a foreigner to be uh, admitted. So I picked 10 of them and got accepted in two, and then I picked the best, best one, the one I preferred. So um, yeah, to apply for all those universities, I had to write a statement of purpose. So um, I really explained, explained my background and why I wanted to come to the States. And um, during my studies in Belgium, I had the opportunity to go to do research for a couple of months in the US. And so I really explained I really enjoyed being there, like at the style of uh, studying and all those things. So yeah, I really uh, explained my background, my motivation, and what I was uh, looking for into the program, so. I had to uh, pass the uh, 12th also, the English language test, so it wasn't too much a big deal. But then I also had to take the GRE, and I, those were the b two big tests, and they were both okay, so it wasn't too much. Hard work to be prepared. No, it's hard work to be prepared, but I mean, it's 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 totally worth it. I really bought like the officials, uh, how official you say, uh, notebooks that really prepare you, like for the vocabulary and all those stuff for the GRE. Yeah, I really took like the one they proposed on their um, website. So um, yeah, now I prepared like um, two months uh, in advance. So I mean, I felt really confident when I came to the test. I think the highlights is uh, just to come, so I'm leaving um, in three weeks to Japan to a deep sea drilling um, expedition. So it's really um, on a US ship like drilling 2,000 meters below the sea floor. That, so that's going to be really exciting and stimulating, like working with an international group of scientists. And I'll be part uh, of the group as a US uh, scientist, so it's really exciting. So I think that will be the big highlight of my study abroad. So while applying to the University of Rhode Island, I got offered a research assistantship. So um, yeah, that's a major part of my funding. And then also I uh, got lucky to receive uh, additional funding from Fulbright. So um, those are the two my major funding sources and are more than enough to uh, make a living over there. After I applied to the um, uh, US schools, I also applied to a Fulbright scholarship because you had to mention which school you were applying for during the Fulbright application. And um, I think I got the uh, Fulbright assistantship because I had a really clear idea of where I was going to and what were my goals uh, while being in the US. And I think that's, that I really knew what I was looking for into um, my studies abroad really convinced themselves to award me the Fulbright scholarship. So. I think I've been obtaining a, a master in uh, later, hopefully, a PhD degree in the States will um, make me a much more competitive candidate in, candidate in Europe, just because I'll have first the uh, English skill, obviously, but also you get exposed so, to much more opportunities in the US compared to Europe, that I think your CV just builds up so much quicker compared to Europe, so I think that your level of experience and background is much richer coming from the States than versus Europe, so. Applying to um, US universities, I was always like, um, how do you say, hesitating because you know you have your comfortable life in Belgium and you have all your friends. But I also uh, thought that you know it's really a characteristic of this society that you know everything is open to you. There are so many opportunities, you just have to take them. So I find it such a pity, even being my comfort zone in Belgium, to leave all the opportunities and take. And so I think it's really important that if you have all those chances, you should really make a use of them. And so I wouldn't be afraid of the aspect that you will be in a, how do you say, a place where you know no one and you'll be like completely out of your comfort zone. I think it's really an experience to take and which will make you stronger in the future.